Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Tailwind CSS and how easy or hard it is to uh, add it to an existing project. Uh, so we're just going to take this page we've got here, I've just got an index.html. Uh, we're going to see what it what it takes to add Tailwind to this. Um, before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below and you'll get updates for future videos. Alright, so uh, yeah, we've got an index.html. Um, what's in dist? Oh yeah, I've got parcel running, so that's why we're seeing this up here and any changes are immediately getting reflected. So that's that disk folder there. Uh, right, what do we need to do? Well, we will want to grab it from npm. So we'll do an npm in it minus y just to get things ready. Then we'll do an npm install, uh, just dev time, and tailwind CSS. And then once that is in place, we can then run with npx, so we'll use this local install of Tailwind. We can run Tailwind CSS in it, and that will create a config file for a fairly standard process. There we should see that pop up over here. Yeah, we've got Tailwind config here. Uh, in here we need to tell it which files, because it's got a runtime, it's going to run, run in the background looking at our file and looking for classes. Uh, and we need to tell it which files to look at, otherwise it's not going to be very optimal. So we can do that in here in the content. Uh, and we've just got an index.html. So we'll just give it straight that file at the moment, uh, index.html there. So that's our config setup ready to go. Um, now, when we run this, it will look at our index.html and look for classes. And it will, on the fly, add those classes to its CSS. So we're going to be pulling in the generated um, the generated CSS from Tailwind. So in our CSS here, we're going to want to reference that. So let's say we're going to put it in a folder, um, Tailwind, and it's going to be called output.css. Uh, that's obviously going to cause an error there because we haven't got that file yet. And we also need to set up one other thing as well. We all need to say which parts of Tailwind are we going to use. So we're going to create as well a new file in here. I'll just call it styles.css. And in here we're going to pull in some of the Tailwind functionality. So we're going to do Tailwind base. Uh, we'll have Tailwind Components, and we'll have Tailwind uh, Utilities. Utilities, like so. Um, so that's pretty standard. You know, you can obviously have less if you're not going to use it, but in terms of getting the functionality from Tailwind, this is your sort of basic setup. You have the base components and utilities. Um, now, so like I was saying, Tailwind's going to be running in the background. So down here, I'm going to do an MPX Tailwind CSS, and I'm going to tell it the location of this file so it knows um, what we've got set up there. Um, so that's going to be our styles.css. Uh, I need to say that's the input for it. So that's an input there. And then it's going to output. So minus O. And we're going to put that into tailwind. And it was output.css. And I'll, I'll. So you can run this once or you can just keep it running in the background with a watch. So we'll put a dot watch on there. So that's going to keep running and checking our index.html now. So it looks set up. Uh, if we look in Tailwind, we can see it's produced the output.css. Now it's got a lot of reset in here. So it does an initial reset just to make sure everything is going to be consistent. Um, but then every time we add a class, we're going to see it added down here. If I'm going to, I'm going to split this, uh, split this down here. Get rid of our folder there. So we can see as they get added. Uh, let's close these off. So in our HTML now, we should be set up. We've got Tailwind running in the background. It's going to output to that um, this output.css. And we can now use it. So let's put in here, say, a... Actually, it should be running now. We should be... Get, yeah, so we're getting our page back again now. Um, and if I do class equals... Um, let's do flex and flex call so we can see that that will affect 
the uh, the output here. We could see in our output.css we've got those created now. As soon as I save that file with the new class, it generated these classes for us in the output.css. Um, Got to refresh. Yeah, just for some reason it didn't pick it up with um, parcel, but there you go. You can see it. Um, applying that CSS over here now as well so there you go we've got we've got tailwind up and running uh, there's a few steps in there but they're pretty straightforward um, and once you have it configured you've then got this on the fly generation of um, of Tailwind classes being created for you. All right, there you go. Quite interesting. Uh, Tailwind is good, by the way. Uh, give us a thumbs up uh, if you like that. Thumbs down if not. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.